Mmm. Damn, Jimmy. This some serious going maze. Art, 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 art 101 with Mr. Burger. Hello friends, welcome back to Art 101 with me, Mr. Berger. I'm a master educator and professional artist trying to bring you the best in art historical content. As always, I like new subscribers as well as likes, shares, comments, the whole gamut. Today we're on the road. We're somewhere between Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, and North Carolina. We're doing a big move and, and we're kind of in phase one or phase two phase three we're in a phase of that move and as i drive down the road i'm not just thinking about the road like any driver you know my mind gets on other things you know i listen to the radio i have a conversation sometimes with myself and in this case i'm thinking that may is uh, national photographer month and because it's national photography month I want to focus a little bit on a photographer that I really enjoy and I think you will too. His name is William Wegman. Yeah, you got some. We know William Wegman as a photographer, filmmaker, and painter of many subjects. But no subject is more dominant than his images of his loyal Weimaraner dogs. You know who the star of the show is? The dog. The wop babaloo bop, the wop bamboo. Stupid! You're so stupid! And it's actually by coincidence that I'm wearing my Polaroid shirt today. It's not on purpose. His sometimes comic photos are becoming increasingly popular every year. Wegman was born in Massachusetts and studied at the Massachusetts College of the Arts with a degree in painting. He went on to explore printmaking at the University of Illinois, earning an MFA in 1967. He taught at several universities before beginning to dabble in photography and video. While in California, he acquired his first collaborative partner, a Weimaraner dog that he would name Man Ray. Named for the innovative artist that would help shape and create Dada and Surrealism. Because we see this dude every day. Currently I have three dogs that I'm working with. I have uh, Bob and Ray. And he in fact is the last of the Ray line. I had Man Ray, Faye Ray, Bob and Ray. So now I have Candy and I had until last week, sadly, Penny, her daughter. And I have a new one that I named Flo, and I'm pretty excited about working with her. She's very different from any of the dogs I've ever had. Not related, still a wine runner. Wigman was working on some video works at the time, and Man Ray wanted to get into the frame, so he just kind of became incorporated into those videos. There's something really scary about sitting in a room with a video camera staring at you with a monitor and you can't think of anything. My best video, I remember, spelling lesson happened after feeling that way for about two hours. And then I just sat down next to Man Ray and this thing came out. What are, what are we going to see first uh, of the um, videotapes? This was, can I introduce it? It's, Please it's, do. Uh, I was driving up to Syracuse. First of all, Man Ray is a California dog, yes? Yeah. California dog, Long Beach, and so he was brought up around the beach, and that's his favorite uh, area. Mm -hmm. And I was looking for uh, Walnut Street in Syracuse, yeah. and I was driving around, you know that one too? <laughs> and so he came to uh, Cherry Street and then Beach Street, and I said, Cherry, Beach, and suddenly my dog went bonkers. This is like miles <clears throat> from the beach. So, uh, and it was spelled B-E-E-C-H. Mm -hmm. So when I got back to New York, I had moved to New York, I, I set up a piece that involved uh, the incorrect spelling of beach. Okay, the dog and the incorrect spelling of beach. Man Ray, take a look at that now. You've got uh, P-A-R-K was spelled correctly. That was good. Wait a minute. 
and you spelled uh, O-U-T right. But when it came to beach, you spelled it B-E-E-C-H, which is like a, uh, well, there's a gum called beach nut gum. But the correct spelling is we meant beach like the sand. So it's, it should have been like the ocean. B E A C H. See, that's the difference. I remember it next time. So if I had given up, that wouldn't have existed. I was really kind of grateful that I had the stamina to, to stay with it. With his cast of dogs, Wegman makes serious works that inspire laughter. His authentic humor has become so visible that children are growing up with Wegman's artwork through his collaborations on Sesame Street. Who are the people in your neighborhood? The painter. Pick a color. Let's paint. He not only raises questions with his subject matters in art, but ironically it also raises questions about humanity. Like every great artist, Wegman is really focusing on the message that he's delivering to people, not just making art for the sake of creating something pretty and fun, although there's nothing wrong with that, but he really has something unique and different to say with his dogs and with the photos and the artworks that he creates. Over the years, he has published many books and taken photographs that would be featured on many magazines, including the National Geographic. And cut! That's the trailer right there. I don't care who you are. You can't deny that's a great story. <laughs>